Hi students, we are going to discuss for today manufacturing a financial statement. So we will be discussing manufacturing financial statement. Now what is the basic difference between um, merchandising and manufacturing? It's actually with the inventory, no? If it is manufacturing, uh, you have three type of uh, inventory. It would be raw materials, okay? And then it's also called direct materials. Then we have direct labor, and then you have factory overhead, okay? What's the other term for factory overhead? Where did then manufacturing overhead, okay? Now, these three items, you'll call it the cost no? and and this product cost okay you say you're going to add all of this to constitute product cost this will be reflected no in your income statement and your balance sheet what's the other term for income statement Statement of operation and statement of financial uh, position. Okay, financial position. And what's the other term for product cost? It is manufacturing cost. No? What will be reflected in the statement of operation will be the cost of goods sold no? for the product. And then we have uh, your inventory. And what type of inventory are we going to uh, include here? Ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo na nasa three type. You have raw materials. Okay. You have work in process. And you have finished goods. Okay. If the three types, if the three types of inventory would actually include raw materials, direct labor, and factory overhead, what will be reflected is still in your financial statement will be the same with what we know of. All the items included as uh, part of your production that would be cost of goods sold, which are actually incurred you now related to what you have sold. Then raw materials will be ano yung natira sa materiales mo na hindi mo pa nagagamit. Work in process, inumpisahan mo na trabahuhin, pero hindi pa tapos. At ang finished good, syempre, ito yung ready for sale. Okay? And uh, your item of your operating, operating cost, this will be also called period cost. Okay, so what what have we learned? That the FS in manufacturing will be uh, affecting, of course, the statement of operation and the statement of financial position and the, your statement of operation would reflect the product cost. 
no? The same time with statement of financial possession. The difference is that the product cost will be in the cost of gold section and in the inventory. And you have three types of inventory. Okay? It would be raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. Okay? So that's with regards to FS. And also, we have the so-called product cost versus period cost. The product cost will constitute what? Raw materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Your period cost is also your operating cost, which would constitute selling expense as well as general and administrative expense. Okay? So your financial statement, if, if it is your manufacturing, would be uh, quite different in terms of inventory only. Okay? Ito lang yung tatlo. But the rest, it won't be uh, different from what you have learned before. Okay? So, ano yung susunod natin tututunan? Uh, alamin, paano malaman kung magkano ang raw materials, magkano ang work in process, at magkano ang finished goods. Okay? At ano ang nakasama sa cost of goods? Sold. Okay? Ano na ang definition natin ng uh, cost of goods sold? Ito ay uh, halaga ng commodity or goods or product na binibenta ko. Ang raw materials ay ang ginamit. Uh, ano ba sample ng raw materials? Halimbawa, ang binibenta mo ay hamburger. Ang raw materials, yung patty, yung tinapay, Uh, yung ilalagay mo na mayonnaise or ilalagay mo na tomato o ilalagay mo na other the uh, vegetable no um, you can also put may uh, ketchup so that will form part of your raw materials the work in process would be uh, yung ginawa mo inupisahan mo pero hindi natapos uh, If it is perishable good, the same as the hamburger that I've stated, then most often you won't have a work in process because food siya. Pag inupisahan mong gawin, finished goods na agad. Eh ma'am, ano yung magkakaroon ng work in process? O di alimbawa, mananahi ka. Di ba pag nagtatahe, may tela? Yung tela, ano ang gagawin niyo sa tela? No? So, uh, yung uh, pagkatapos mong bilhin yung tela, yaan ikakat. Diba? Tapos may mga parts na nakat na pwede rin namang matatahiin mo na. Ngayon, yung hindi pa, yung bang nakat pa lang, that is work in process. Yung nakat at natahi na, yung ilang parts, work in process pa din. Okay? Ang finished goods, pag natapos mo na yung t-shirt, Diba? Or natapos mo na yung palda na pinatatahe. Okay? So, that's your finished food. Yung sa hamburger kasi wala kayong magiging work in process kasi food siya. Pero pag kayo mananahe, gumagawa ng, ng sapatos, diba? O yun, nagkakaroon talaga sila ng work in process. Okay, so, what are we going to add? If, if you are in... Uh, Manufacturing, may tinatawag din tayong cost of goods manufactured. Okay? Uh, yun ang kaibahan niya. Tsaka mas mahaba siya. Kasi ito obligado, uh, alamin mo, magkano ang raw materials, magkano ang work in process, magkano ang finished goods. By the way, uh, ito ba lahat to? 
uh, may mga item, of course, in your product. Yes, of course. Your raw materials will actually be uh, all the items that you use in the production of goods. And so your working process may, may also have uh, your... Your working process may also have your raw materials and direct labor, but definitely your finished goods would have raw materials, direct labor, and factor overhead. By the way, uh, pag halimbawa yung sa burger kanina na sample natin, kung pati at saka tinapay, yung raw materials niya, eh, ano yung direct labor? Kung sino yung direktang gumagawa ng hamburger, no? Ma'am, ano pa ibang klase ng labor? Indirect labor na mapupunta sa factory overhead. Okay? So, dito sa factory overhead, meron din dito uh, indirect labor. Okay? Ito yung nagsusupervise nung uh, labor na gumagawa ng, ng um, hamburger. Ano pa pwede dyan sa factory overhead? Pwede Utilities in the factory. I don't know utilities natin. It would be uh, water, in communication, electricity. No? So, kung may indirect labor, may utilities, meron ding indirect material. Okay? Pwede dyan yun sa overhead. Okay? And what would constitute indirect material? Doon sa hamburger, ang direct material noon, yung pati tsaka tinapay. Ang indirect material doon, syempre, kung may ilalagay kang mayonnaise, ketchup, yun, uh, yung inyong cucumber, o yung tomato. Kasi yun, uh, pwede namang wala, di ba? Pag sinabi mong hamburger, ang siguradong dapat meron pati at tsaka tinapay. Yung iba, pwede optional na. Okay? O. Oh. Or pag sa damit, what would form part of indirect material? Sinulid, butones, kasi wala namang damit ang puro butones lang. Diba? Uh, ano yung magiging direct material doon? Eh di syempre yung tela mismo na ginamit mo. Diba? O yun. O kaya pagka ano naman, ano pa ibang indirect material aside from sa mga butones at saka yung inyong sinulid. O, pwede, pag may zipper. Ang damit ba, puro zipper? Pag puro zipper, yung damit mo siguro. Pinagsama-samang zipper, walang tela, direct material siya. <laughs> okay. Uh, pag binurdahan mo din, yung direct material, kasi hindi naman, wala, hindi ka naman pwede na, na magbuburda, no? Na walang material. So, yung, gano lang yan. Uh, so, you have any question at this point in time? Make sure that you're going to have a feedback. Okay, so let's go to the next page. How are we going to compute for cost of sale or cost of goods sold? So we start with raw materials used. Okay, bakit? Kasi sabi natin ano to? Raw materials. Uh, then you have direct labor, and then you have factory overhead. Then you co-compute natin. Actually, ano pa ibang tawag dito? Direct material. Ano pa? Ito pa yan. Raw materials use. Kasi ang raw materials, dalawa na pupuntahan, di ba? Income statement, tsaka balance sheet. So, what are we going to start with? Beginning inventory. Familiar? Yes, kasi ginamit na natin to dun sa... So, merchandising. But, it would be with raw materials. And then, add net purposes. Oh, this is also familiar to you, di ba? Add freight in. Oh, this is my best pen penmanship na class. <laughs> okay. And then, we have the raw materials available for use. Okay? So, you have your beginning inventory, 
Uh, and then you have your net purchases, free tin, okay? Add mo yan. This is the raw materials available for use. Less raw materials and. So that would be raw materials used. Okay? Then the raw materials used, we're going to add direct labor. Okay? We're going to add factory overhead. You're going to list your factory overhead. Okay? And this would be our, ano ta? Manufacturing cost. Okay? Ito yan. And your manufacturing cost is the same as what? Product cost. No? O, ano, ano pa yung susunod? So, ito medyo madami yung nasa item na cost of sale. We're done with this one kasi is your manufacturing cost. Diba? Yan. O, ano yung susunod natin doon sa manufacturing cost? Ah, uh, we're going to have this to no section manufacturing cost okay add work in process beginning again and that would be cost of goods place in process okay Then, less work in process end. Then, this would be cost of good manufactured. Okay? And, so, I, ano yun, ma'am? Pagka pala inad at tinidak mo yung... Work in process, you're going to have cost of goods manufactured. And then you're going to add finished goods beginning. That would be cost of goods available for sale. Familiar? Yes. And then you're going to less finished goods end. And that would be your cost of sale. So, sa manufacturing cost pala, add, deduct, work in process. You will have cost of goods manufactured. Then, add, deduct, finished goods. You're going to have cost of sale. Okay? Is that clear? So, for now, we'll stop at this point in time. Uh, thank you for listening. We'll uh, discuss more in relation to manufacturing okay so good day thank you